Hello again, it's Steve Rossetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part five of our eight part basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. Video effects are a lot of fun. They can be subtle, they can be extreme, but they're always fun to play with. To add a video effect to a clip on our timeline, all we need to do is go over to the toolbar on the right, select the effects button, You'll see here in expert view, we've got a large number of effects, about 80 different effects in a whole slew of categories. We've also got hundreds of presets in here. These are preset up effects. Some of them have animation. They're worth exploring too, but let's look at the basics because there are actually a number of ways to adjust an effect once you add an effect to your timeline or to a clip on your timeline. Let's go over here to the new blue film effect and we'll drag old film on our timeline, which gives it sort of an old film look. Once you add an effect to a clip on your timeline, the Applied Effects panel automatically opens up if it ever is closed. All you need to do is select that clip on your timeline, go over here to the toolbar on the right and click on the button with a little pencil on it. There's Applied Effects. You'll notice that for the vast majority of effects, and in fact virtually all the effects down in the lower left hand corner, there's a button that says draw. Don't worry about that right now. That's actually a whole separate tutorial. It's a new feature in version 2021. To make adjustments to your effect, all you need to do is move the sliders. There are actually several ways to make adjustments to your video effect. The most basic is to make the adjustments right on the panel itself. To disable an effect temporarily, click on the little eyeball that shows you before and after adding the effect. To reset the effect to its default settings, just click the little reset button. And to remove an effect completely, just click on the trash can. Let's try another effect. We're going to try crop. Now we can locate our effect, of course, by browsing through all the different categories, or we can just go over here to this uh, magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner and type the name of the effect. So we'll type in crop C R O. There's crop. Drag that down onto our clip. And here in applied effects, of course, we can make adjustments by moving the sliders. But often with effects like crop, there's a more intuitive way. And you'll see this available with a number of effects in the program. Select crops listing here in applied effects. We can toggle it back open again. With it selected, you notice that around the outside of the video that is being cropped, we have these little corner handles and we can drag on those and set our crop that way. To me, this is much more intuitive. And you'll see this used for a number of things. If you've got, for instance, a lens flare or something like that, you can drag it into position right on the screen itself, right on the monitor panel, rather than moving the little sliders here on the right in applied effects. So that's two ways you can adjust an effect. Let's remove the crop effect and we'll try one more effect. Go over to the effects panel and we'll clear crop. And this time going to the category of new blue Cartooner Plus. Now, New Blue is a company that creates special effects. They've created a number of effects for Premiere Elements. This New Blue Cartooner is kind of fun. Drag it onto the clip and you see it turns everything into a cartoon. Now, there are manual ways to adjust this effect with these sliders here, but this is pretty complex for me. Sometimes the easiest way to make an adjustment is to use the presets whenever they're provided. And we can click down through this list of presets. I can get to a pencil test, for instance. And see the picture in black and white. We can make it look like a light cartoon or a light drawing or splashy paint. And you can see we're making the adjustments rather than adjusting all these sliders by using the preset. So there's actually several ways to adjust an effect once you add it to your clip on the timeline. And you can choose the one that is most intuitive for the effect that you're adjusting. Hope you'll join me for part six of our eight-part series. We're coming down to the wire here. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Hope to see you in part six of our basic training with Adobe Premiere Elements.